when we are talking about or discussing about how, how to help our students become aware of recognizing words and spelling words, it's important to discuss the influence of first language on second language. For example, Urdu being our second language, uh, Punjabi being or Pashto being our first language or Urdu being the second and English being the third. So how, for example, if we have got Urdu as our first language, how it can influence on second language in terms of recognizing words and spelling when we are engaged in reading activities. Okay, so there are various effects of first language on second language when, um, when we have got some reading activities in the classroom specifically designed to help students recognize and spell words. So the, the contrastive analysis hypothesis uh, in this, um, states that second language can strongly be affected by first language knowledge uh, in terms of recognizing words and spellings. For example, if we have got too many similarities between the first and the second language, then learning the second language in reading, in recognizing spelling, in recognizing words can be easier. Um, for example, uh, Italian, I remember, is an alphabet language which has a lot of similarities between English and, of course, French. And there are, uh, on the other hand, if you look at Japanese or Chinese, um, there are a lot of dissimilarities. So, and there are many studies which have underlined how, how the Chinese speakers have problems in recognizing words in English and spellings, okay. So it has uh, both positive and negative effects on learning capillary the syntax of the language and its discourse, and of course, pronunciation. Uh, so the first language can have its effects. Um, if it's similar, the learning of vocabulary can become easier. If it's uh, not similar, the learning of vocabulary or grammatical units can become difficult. So. Of course, there is a correlation uh, between first language and second language. So, um, in this regard, when we are talking about the influence, we need to look at how second language students transfer their prior um, linguistic and cognitive skills when they are reading text in a second language. For example, uh, by uh, prior linguistic and cognitive skills, I mean the skills of pre-guessing or the skills of skimming and scanning. Okay, if, if, if the learners are trained in their first language, for example, in Urdu, if they are trained how to skim and scan the text, they can apply those skills to, um, uh, in, in recognizing words and spelling in second language, I mean English. So, um, of course, first language reading shares it, some of the basic elements or uh, elements, I mean the strategies with second language reading. So, I mean, when we are talking about influence of first language, we need to see how reading in both contexts, I mean, in L1 and L2 context is... Uh, influenced by our knowledge of the content, by our understanding of the forms of the language, or the linguistic schema, or prior knowledge. Uh, so, um, successful, uh, I mean, those who are good readers, both in first and second language, they, of course, consciously and unconsciously, engage in specific behaviors. By specific behaviors, I mean in skimming and scanning or pre-guessing or inferring, uh, uh, making inferences from a given text. 
so in order to understand the message so uh, as we have seen in recognizing words and spelling the role of first language on second language is all the more significant because um as being second language teachers when we are designing a, a reading program we need to see uh, these complexities in, involved in teaching reading